Hi everyone, this is Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Today we're creating this nostalgic for me reading rainbow card. I saw these bookworm bears from MFT and it's a mini set so it's a great price point and I just thought I had to have it and because what I envisioned in my head was this rainbow and these little bears just reading all across the rainbow and it reminded me of my childhood and a lot of people think I look young but I am definitely older than I look. So back in the day reading rainbow used to be very popular and I love the show. Anyway, so we're going to create a card that is reminiscent of my childhood. So we're going to be coloring first with some Copic markers. I'm going to speed through a lot of this, so it's going to go fairly quickly. If you're interested in the color combinations that I use, be sure to check out the blog where it will all be listed for you. And if you're interested in the supplies and tools that I use today, be sure to check out the links below as everything will be linked for your convenience as well. So again, very quick coloring, just a dabs of color here and there. The areas on these images are quite small, so it's not a lot of tedious blending except for on the bears. So as with every other Copic card and coloring image that I've done, I start with the dark, blend with a medium, and then blend out with a light and even a fourth color if I want it even lighter. So once I'm done coloring, I'm going to go ahead and add some gel highlights here with my white gel highlight pen. It just gives the image a little bit of interest and it gives it a little bit of pop. So once I'm done die cutting and doing all that, I'm gonna set that aside to work on my rainbow. This is the Happy Swish die from MFT. It's just a nice rainbow that's different from the usual rainbow bands. So I've die cut that in white because I wanted a specific color palette. So we're gonna be coloring these bands with Copic markers and it saves me some time from having to die cut these bands in several different cardstock colors. So I've selected my colors and swatched them out on the right hand side there for you to see. And I'm just gonna color these very quickly. And I'm gonna go over it two or three times just to make sure that paper is nice and saturated to get an even amount of color on each of these bands. So again, if you're interested in these colors, be sure to check out the blog where I'll list them for you. And again, I am just making sure that there's a good saturation of color to make sure that the color is nice and vibrant and not splotchy on these bands. Now to adhere them together evenly, I'm just going to trace the outline of this die so that I can cut it out and have something to adhere those bands to. Okay, so there's just a very faint outline and I'm just going to use my fine detail scissors here from Simon Says Stamp to cut away the excess cardstock. And I am going to cut them a little bit smaller and you'll see even after I adhere the bands to this piece of cardstock, I still need to trim it just a tad. Now I'm just adding some dot tape runner adhesive all over this band and then I'll piece together my rainbow, starting with the red and then the yellow, green, blue, and then purple. And once we have that last band on there, I can go ahead and trim away that extra cardstock. So once again, I'm just using my fine detail scissors and I'm tucking my blades right underneath that purple band so that I don't cut into that purple band at all. And we have a perfect rainbow swish. Okay, so I have a white piece of cardstock that I'm going to be ad adhering this rainbow to, but you know I love my borders, so I'm going to go ahead and chop off half an inch off two of the sides of this panel, so a quarter inch all the way around if you prefer to imagine it that way. So now I'm going to adhere my rainbow to this panel, and then I'll chop off the excess on the sides in my trimmer. You can do this with a pair of scissors. I just like to whack it off in my trimmer because I find it a lot more precise and there's less room for error for me. Okay, so we have a lot of white space on our card, and before adhering that rainbow, if you prefer color behind it or even clouds, you can stencil that on or just ink blend some blue behind those bands. I'm going to add some gold splatters. I find that the texture is really great on a white piece of cardstock, so I'm going to go ahead and add some water to my Fine Tech palette here so that I can mix up some nice gold to splatter with. And then I'm just gonna flick some onto my card. It's gonna dry almost immediately because the water evaporates so quickly on the cardstock. So while it's drying, I'm gonna die cut a cloud. This cloud is from the Straight Up Rainbow die. It's one of my favorite rainbow sets from MFT. So I've just die cut one because I really am gonna cut this in half and use both sides. So I'm not wasting any cardstock. And uh, I should probably mention that I'm using white glitter cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. It's got some nice sparkles on it. It's gonna give your card some more texture and interest. And I'm attaching that to the ends of the bands using some foam squares. And then we'll go ahead and put that back in our trimmer and chop off the excess like we did before with the rainbow band. 
I'm using foam tape because I want some dimension. And then we can add our bears and add those bears with dimension as well with some foam adhesive. Now for the bears that are sitting on the clouds, I'm adhering them with liquid adhesive. That's gonna be the best way to adhere things to glitter cardstock. And then these other bears that are floating on the rainbow, I'm gonna use some foam adhesive to match the height of the other bears. I just love that little bear reading on his tummy so much. So for his book, I did attach a piece of foam adhesive, again, to match the height of that bear. And then there were two other accessory images with the heart and the stars. And I'm just gonna apply that directly on top of the band with some liquid adhesive. And that finishes the layout of our card. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and stamp the sentiment. I played with the idea of just doing a sentiment strip, but I decided there's plenty of white here, so we can just go ahead and stamp in that white area in the bottom right-hand corner of this card. I'm gonna simply stamp it with a crisp black ink, and then that finishes our card panel. All there's left to do is to apply this over a card base. So I have a white card base there to my right, and I'm just adding some adhesive to the back of my card panel, and then we'll go ahead and attach that, and that finishes my reading rainbow card. I hope you enjoyed this sweet reading rainbow card today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. I'm gonna link two more videos for you if you enjoyed watching this and would like to see more. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. Bye everyone.